everyone. Thanks for having me today. I'm Jen Yong, the founder of Synthes Technologies, an enterprise mobility company based in Malaysia. We are one of the key players in the enterprise mobility scene of Southeast Asia, empowering the digital transformation of business in the region. We have been the partner of Hexon and is always one of the top solutions for our clients. First of most, to take our workplace to the next level with IoT device analytics, check out this graph, Prediction by Global Data. It's a no surprise then that the global IoT market is projected to surpass 1 trillion by 2024. It's amazing when, 3 years ago, it was worth about half the amount. It's getting popular, IoT in general is. Let's finally talk about the IoT data analytics. The data collection of IoT is extremely powerful because the devices are always on and connected to the internet, as well as collect data in the real time. Of course, all, the, all this data will be pointless to collect without any form of analysis. With analysis, you can configure IoT work devices according and work towards increasingly the efficiency and productivity of the device, transforming your business as a result. And any issue of bugs can be identified and fixed immediately with over the air updates. Here is a use case of IoT data analytics in use. Let us share you a scenario in managing smart vending machine for different touch points. Having to know a product in any given machine is running low on stock, we can have the machine take stock on its own and report to the UEM solution. The machine can also keep track at the same time which product is a bad seller if it's the one that's the fast, fastest to sell out and when people tend to buy it. This way, the machine can recommend it to users who are indecisive on what they should buy based on the time of the day. On top of it, we are able to track which vending machine make the most or least earning and decide where we should put in and take down a machine. That's why, according to a report by Model Intelligent, smart tracking with IoT is predicted to overtake traditional spreadsheet tracking by 2022 this year. So, the burning question now is, why should we use Hexnode for IoT data analytics? It's because Hexnode addresses various common issues with analyzing IoT devices. The top two common concerns are security and IT OT integration. Hexnode is able to secure our work devices by enforcing policy such as only allowing it to connect to certain networks like VPNs and rolling out data encryption. It's also easier to make devices comply with local data protection regulations so neither us nor our client misuse of personal data in the work device. As for IT OT integration, it unites the data collection of IoT devices under one roof for immediate analytics instead of having to configure the data collection of each device individually. I'm very sure your business has at least two or three different types of devices. With Hexnode, we don't need to crack our brains keeping tabs on different devices when we can have a central management hub. Support for IoT management was introduced in 2017 when Hexnode added compatibility with Apple proprietary tvOS and ever since then, they have been working to be compatible with as many operating systems and devices as possible. We don't have a system to monitor our IoT network if we don't have a system to monitor our IoT network or even have an IoT network to begin with, now it's better time than any to set it up and take our business to the next level. So, you may be wondering why I dedicate the previous segment to IoT data analytics. IoT is the next big thing because the adoption of IoT technologies is going to accelerate the rollout of 5G. IoT can't work if there is no internet connection to transmit the data, and obviously not every corner in the world is going to have the fast and reliable Wi-Fi if they even have Wi-Fi in the first place, that is where 5G step in. 5G is a huge step up from 4G with up to triple the average download speeds all across the globe. The theoretical speed can even go up to 10 gigabytes. In paper, 
If data gets transferred faster, that means devices have to use less power and 5G will save the overall battery power of the devices. It's not just speed that makes 5G appearing. A 5G network can connect to 250 times more devices than 4G within a square kilometer and it handles large amounts of data originating from many devices with low latency. It works by performing network slicing. Each portion of the network is assigned to a different type of devices. With the 5G adoption rate around the world increasing, especially in major tech hubs, IoT and mobile devices have become more appealing thrust, increasing the need of UEM every way. By now, we have talked about the implications of IoT data analytics and 5G for enterprise mobility. Now we all know, none of this can exist without actual devices, right? At first glance, some might be confused whether they have procedure and maintain the devices themselves when they approach us for a UEM solution. Well, I would like to say to those people, don't look anyway, we are right in front of you. We all know a headache and possibly cause a bomb to procure the right devices and maintain all of them self-self. Worse, the pandemic has forced many businesses to slash their budgets. Therefore, we want to make it as easy and economical as possible for our clients to embrace enterprise mobility by taking care of the devices, part of UEM2. That's why Device as a Service or DAAS is the logical next step to diversify our enterprise mobility portfolio. With DAAS, we also fulfill the role for IT support of a business in addition to enterprise mobility. If there are any problem with your device, be it software or hardware, we will be a call to fix it. Basically, the warranty and maintenance update are all handled by us. Oh, and you can even customize your device to say, have a Unix startup screen if you want. DAS bring plenty of benefits such as convenience, simplification, shifting for CapEx to OPEX. The last benefit is important because instead of committing to invest plenty of money into a device and server, you can now loan a device from us too. And finally, once the device reaches end of life, you may send it over to us for recycling. Don't let it not in your storage or worse, end up in the landfill. I will share another use case of a business that needs DAAS. A small IT repair business, let's call it Business A, that it does its own door-to-door -door pickup and delivery service. It would like its delivery men to use work phones for a security purpose and to keep track of repairing device journey, but you can't afford to buy a brandy of phones at once. With DAAS, Business A can run some phones for this purpose and it won't have to worry about taking care of the devices themselves if it is malfunctions. DAAS will be here to stay and hopefully will help to foster the digital, digital transformation of more business or at least cushion their recovery from the economy devastation of the pandemic. At this point of time, Nothing seems to be getting in the way of the rise of data-driven technologies. IoT data analytics can only become more popular, more popular because of the increased adoption of IoT devices. The gradual rollout of 5G will be ensure everyone gravitate towards upgrading or making the switch to IoT. With DAAS, business can stop worrying about investing in and maintaining their device, taking up a huge amount of time and resources they can finally focus on what truly matters, data research project. Now you have heard about how great these three emerging technologies are. Let's work together to foster their development to the successful digital future of business. Once again, thank you Hasnut for having me in the Partner Summit. Thank you, bye-bye.